Yeah. 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 Come on. Welcome. Good evening. Sean Eggs coming at you here late night. Money. Sunday, the 24th of March. It's technically the 24th, right? It's after, after 12. Could be the 23rd where you're at. I know I'm a little late. I was waiting for this uh, game to end here. Uh, but it seems to be like it is not ending. It's a good one. Hopefully, uh, Crane pulls out from here. I, for, I got them in the final four, but I actually have the over, um, the 145 and a half. We'll see how that how that works out here. Probably had a good day today. I had a so-so kind of an affair. Uh, day in a little half-point loser early. I had Kansas today. North Carolina, Virginia Tech over. Uh, Tennessee. Three and three. That is me. That is the way it's been this week. If you had a great week, I'd tip my hat to you. I had a not a good week again. Three and three today. Where do we go yesterday? Uh, three and three yesterday. We had the two and four day, two and five day on Thursday. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, we were okay. We were what? Three, five and two, five and three. Again, that's. It's been my season. It's been my season in college basketball. Good runs. Then we start losing a couple. 500 year. It is what it is. Free picks have been all right, though. We're going to catch this uh, over here. I think. I don't even know what's going on in this game here. Is this game in overtime? I don't even know what's happening. Anyway. Let's um, let's hit the let's. I'll put, I'll put the picks in the chat. Twitter, Mr. Sean Hakes, number one. Hit the Twitter. Say hello in the Twitter world. Uh, where's the little like? You know, I I could just tell you like what Sean Hakes one of free picks out of the channel. Super. I'll tweet these plays out for the world right now. There they are. They're in the Twitter sphere. They'll be in the comments section in a second here. There you go, commenters. And now they'll be in the chat. Here we go. I didn't put the record up because I was waiting for the game tent. Not hiding from the record. We had North Texas loser. Dayton loser. Ohio State over. Winner here. Um, Iowa State from we added to midday money today after late night money last night. Winner. And a crane over 145 and a half. But for Sunday, Cleveland State out of pick them. Purdue minus 11 and a half. This was a 10 and a half. I think I did a... A free pick with this with uh, our guy Detroit Lenny. It was ten and a half earlier today. It's gone up. And UConn over one thirty six. I got Cam Ross like this one as well. So that are three plays for you. Enjoy them. Cleveland State eleven a.m. tip. I had a loser in the eleven a.m. earlier th- or the eleven thirty game today with uh, with the Hall beating up on North Texas. But we got another eleven a.m. or tomorrow. We're going to hope for the best and see what happens. Picks from David House. I have his main college basketball. CBI tournament plays tomorrow as I do NCAA tournament plays. Getting dirty. Do you like the CBI that much tomorrow? Are we going into the Mac, Dave? Are you here? Because your comment was from a, a while ago. So I don't know if Dave is with us. Follow Picks from Dave. Nice guy. I've chatted with, if I have your phone number and I talk to you, I consider you a friend. I have Dave's phone number. I've chatted with Dave. That's the way, I, in, in this business, if I have a number of somebody, I will vouch for them as a real person, as a good person. Um, trust you with my phone number. So give Dave a follow if you haven't already. A lot of Dave's people, have, I've, you know, Dave actually, I got on with Dave and I found, you know, some new followers. So thank you, Dave. Dana Dell Pigs, my dude. Blue Jays, Crane, let's go. I need Crane here. I told you, here we go. I keep showing it all the time. Crane, final four against Arizona. Uh, top half, Auburn out. But I like Crane. I think they're I think they're good. 
What do we got here? Four and three day day. Need this to go to double OT for my over. We're 71 71 going to overtime. There he is. Hi. Hi. Nice looking man. There's the YouTube channel. Facebook, we got a couple likes. Let me see. It's got to be my guy, Dennis O'Brien. Dennis O'Brien and Mike Downey checking in on Facebook. Been a minute for Mr. Downey to hit the like button. Thank you, Michael. Nick Nasty's in the house. Good evening. Dave is here. He's sitting here patiently waiting, watching the games, saying, I wonder if Higgs is going to come on today. I don't have any friends. I appreciate it. <laughs> well, I'm your friend, Dave. I'm your friend. We said, and I say that. If, um, Especially in this kind of biz, there's some interesting cats, to say the least. But I have some numbers of people off of the Twitter world, some names bigger than other names. But if I've chatted with you, in some cases broken bread with you, I'm going to always give you the benefit of the doubt. Dave's a good guy. We've, I like Dave. We get along well. We get along well, except he plays his stupid Magnum PI for me. Now I don't have many sounds on my in my backgrounds. You know, I got the I got the intro, and then I got my favorite. Oink oink! Hey everybody, look! It's the flying pig. Oink oink! <laughs> Hello everybody! Whee! We bust out the flying pig from 1990 Kids in a Hall. When we have ridiculous winners, that somebody says, no way that team's going to win. And then a flying pig comes out. When pigs fly. Get it? That's my humor. That's my humor. Dana says, Dave is a great guy. I think he is. I think he is. It's a pretty damn good guy. So, what's up? so what's going on? Is this game a, a final yet? 77-71? That's an official over. I want to say that is a winner here for... The free pick show. That means we were three and two yesterday. That means we are now 74 and 41 since February 25th. I want to say that's not too shabby. Presently, I'm seeing Creighton minus 10,000, now minus $52,632 on the live money line, in case that's something you're interested in. If you're Blue Horseshoe, you'd be interested in minus 52,000. It's worth a shot. I'm going to put in wages on offers with high prices are restricted. Cannot bet that. They don't allow me to bet these kind of crazy things. Can I grab? Hold on a second. I want to see if I can get to 3,900 on Oregon. That's where I want to be. Anyway, David, I'm really hoping Oregon plus four and a half hits. It's been a while. Higgs had to deal with a lot of personal problems. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, David. Nobody likes having personal issues, no matter what they are. It could be a bunch of them. But know that most people do go through them. We have to deal with them in his life. Sometimes it's death in that life or other serious issues. But I'm glad you spend a couple minutes with me. Hopefully you get your mind off of the nonsense. Come in, have a couple laughs, get a couple winners, and uh, cheer you up a bit. Uh, 70, 77, 71, double OT. All righty. Sup, pigs, double OT. Yes, it's double OT. I was asking before. I didn't know. I had the uh, window shut. I had the ESPN up, but... With the StreamYard, sometimes if I have a live video running or any kind of freaking edit, you know, I go to the freeze. It's terrible. So I had to turn it off. But, yeah, that's a double OT. That is a winner on a total. And I'm happy. I need a nice win. I will take a win any way I can get it, even if it just gets me to a 3-2 and two or a 3-3 three and three day. I'm not going to complain about that. No way, Jose. So, um so tomorrow we got a bunch of games. Let's do. I, mean, I guess we could do a little Marcos minute before we get out of here. Um, all right. Let's see something here.
Marcos minute time. Over is good. So we'll run down. Do we jump into NIT first? No real thought on Indiana State. I mentioned I like Wake Forest minus the uh, nine and a half there based on how the SEC and ACC have played. I do like South Florida. I might do a little shorty video on the Sean Higgs. A little, a little Sean Shorty with South Florida. Uh, Utah, I like the over in that game. NSBC lines up to five. I don't know. Give me some BC. Then we have some... Our guy Dave likes some CBI stuff. Now, I don't know if I want to be running to the CBI. You got Cleveland State early. You know, so be it. Uh, Monty and Presby. No real thought on that. The Little Rock Fairfield game. You know, we've had Fairfield overs. Maybe it's a time to jump in on the Fairfield over. This could be an ad for tomorrow. Fairfield over. Fairfield over. What is presently this total at here? So 150. It was a 153 and a half on the open. It is currently 152 and a half at FanDuel and a 154 at Caesars. I think right now it is time to jump in on this over and find the best available price. We will add this to the free picks. You watching live will get it because it won't be tweeted out to tomorrow. But I'm going to add it right now to the chat. So those watching or listening after the fact are going to get it before the noon show tomorrow. Let's see what we get officially on some of these numbers here. I got 153s. All right. That's not terrible. Can I get that 152 and a half? Does anybody have it offshore or otherwise? Of course, Ridiculous Line Pros has it. I'm not seeing it. All right. If we had to settle for a 153 here, I don't hate it. I liked it at 153 at the open. I thought about it. It's time to make our move here. Here we go. All right. What do we got on this thing? 153. So it's basically 153. We're adding it. We're adding it in. We're getting the banner down. And we're adding it here. CBI special. Fairfield over 153. And just like that. Just like that, we're going 4 0 tomorrow. Just like that, we're hitting overs. We're doing some overtime. All right, let's get back to the chat here. What's your thought on Yale plus five? I fix it. You know what? I had started doing the Marcos Minute, and I get to this game. So I said... We just bet Fairfield here, 153. Um, Quinnipiac's another midday, late night money special. Do we add them? I don't know. I like them. I like them. Uh, we did the NIT. Let's get to these games here. Connecticut and Northwestern NCAAs. We got the over in this one. Duke Madison, I got real no opinion on. Part of me wants to take Madison. The other part says to stick with the over. I don't know if I'm going to play it. We'll see. We will see. What time is this game tomorrow? You know, they spread these games out for the NCA. Total joke. 12 to 5. I mean, a 940 game on a Sunday night. What the hell are they doing? Boy, they could screw up a freaking bottle of water, these guys. This nonsense. Give me 12 10. Give me 12. I don't care if two games are going at the same time. I mean, like, spoiled brats here, folks. We used to have four games going early. Used to be so, crap used to be just on CBS. They'd stagger them and then flip back and forth if the game got close. Bunch of scores at the top of the screen. Now we got to spread everyone out on six different channels. Whatever freak they're doing. 
Uh, we got a little Marquette. I initially was like, what would this line be? Open a three and a half. I kind of like Marquette. You know, the guy's back. He didn't look too bad. He didn't look like he missed a beat in the last game. It sort of looks low, but Colorado's red hot, so I don't mind laying a three and a half there. Purdue, I'm laying it. Now, this is not the spot where Purdue has a problem. Purdue's a problem next game. This is not where they choke one away. This They'll, they'll win this one. Uh, Baylor, Clemson. Part of me wants to take Clemson here. My guy Tim Earl was making a compelling case on a show I was with him today about Clemson. And, and I sort of agree. I sort of agree. If we can get a little more on this, what is this here? Hold on. Let's see what we could find here. I love, I love anything. You know, could we get a. This was a four and a half when I wrote these lines down earlier. Let's see. Is it? Can we find a five? We get a five. On, on the Clem dogs, we're moving. I see the four and a halves, a lot of four and a halves. I, I still might take this at four and a half, to be perfectly honest with everybody. I'm, I'm still. Again, this could be an ad. This could be an ad tomorrow. Uh, Houston AM, I, I like the dog there. And Neil San Diego, our guy, left the fixing, I'm guessing, or if fix, I'm. Sorry if I'm screwing up your your name here, fella. Or lady, for that matter. And that's it. It's fellas and ladies. I'm, I want to take San Diego State, believe it or not. As much as a, a dog I am, he yells off a monster upset win. Kind of like Oakland today. right? You're off a big win. What do you got in the tank? Another, another dog that needed everything to get there to win that game. I'd lean San again. Didn't bet this game, Fixin. But my thought process would be though to take uh, San Diego State, and honestly, maybe an under. Probably under first. And Grand Canyon, Bama. I mean, is this? Do you just play the over here? It's one sixty and a half. You just have to do the over, no? Alabama is going to score. Can you get score? I mean, at 167, we only need 90, 80. You know, we don't need, we don't need, we don't need two teams at 90. Like some of these totals with Alabama. Nick Day says Oregon gave a good fight. Yeah, um, is that official? Can I get a final score, folks? Final score to the Oregon game, please. Cleveland State and the school with the obese cheerleader. <laughs> You love the Chepsters. She, the obese cheerleader. <laughs> oh my goodness. I like Eddie rebounds at 12 minus 110. I don't hate that. I mean, you expect them to have a big game. I, I no matter, even a superstar. Right, I mean, college player props definitely not a uh, my wheelhouse or go-to bet. I, I could say that honestly. I I don't. I've never. It's not to say I don't think. I know one hundred percent fact. I have never made a college basketball player prop bet. That might make me strange. That might not make me a real gambler in somebody's eyes. So whatever. I it's just that's not for me. That would be a no thank you. La fixin' or I'm fixing. Should I take Bale minus four and a half? No, I was just saying I like Clemson. I like Clemson plus four and a half. I'd like to get a five in the, with Clemson. Uh, will it possibly get there? Maybe. Caesar had opened it at five. 
yesterday afternoon, but basically four and a half everywhere else. It's still sitting at four and a half. I might, I might just take the four and a half. Eighty six seventy three. Creighton gets it done, and I believe they cover the five. That would be what we call a Creighton over. Never in doubt. You know what? Let me let me throw that out there for the folks. You know, before I do that, you know what? I pay my whatever I pay a year for to get the verification. We're we're adding in. What do we say we're doing at Fairfield over? Definitely worth seventy dollars or whatever that could cost. All right, writing it down for the the pad. We'll update our thing. Boom, and now let's get going. Crane over. Never in doubt. I don't know why they call it gambling. It should be called stealing when it's that easy, huh? I think Utah State will stay in it. I don't know. I think Purdue pulls away here. And that's maybe it's, and I'm not a huge Big Ten guy. And you know, McNancy, I'm not a great lover of. Uh, Purdue, even though they have had a few losses this year, and I say those losses aren't even bad losses. But the Mountain West, to me, cannot be trusted. I don't care again, double digits. I think this might be seven or eight at the half. Purdue pulls away. Now, next game up for Purdue. Uh, maybe a little bit. More difficult against Gonzaga, who took care of Kansas handedly. That could be a spot where, again, this is where I think they're going to go to, to, I hate to say choking, but where they're going to tighten up. And as I said here, the extra pass, an extra dribble, a four shot, a no shot. It's close. They're going to start overthinking. That's... I don't think that happens against Utah State. I think that happens against Gonzaga now. What is my favorite play for tomorrow? I don't know. I really like the UConn. I think UConn's going to put up an 80 spot. And we'll have... Can we get a 60? I mean, I'm looking for... If we get... We should get 60 from... Northwestern. So this this total should be. I hate saying things are easy or, and I don't throw that kind of language out like locks or you know no brain no doubters, but I really like that. Um, and I like uh I, I like South Florida tomorrow. Do you like South Florida? At home they're pumped up to be playing. So those are my two. Uh, McNay says, oh, that's with Purdue. I know they're playing Purdue. Brio's in house. Money Man Higgs, you know it. BJ's in house. Clemson is live. Baylor is suspect. What do you say, Higgs? What do I say is I agree with you. I just said I was hoping to get a five on the on Clemson here, but it's a four and a half. And honestly, I, I'm probably going to end up taking it. I'm probably going to take a four and a half. I don't. Worth a shot. Worth a shot for me. Let's see. Yeah, folks, like four and a half look like the going number. I, I, again, would love to find a five. Would love to find the five of this one, but it is not meant to be. It is not meant to be here. I'm looking, looking, looking. And you come on, five somewhere. <sighs> no. Whatever. I'll take the four and a half. 
do four and a half, let's do from four and a half. We'll teach them a lesson. And if you could take the, I mean, I, I know everybody's like, oh, you always sprinkle. I, I mean, I get it, but I've said I've had a 500 tournament so far, three and three, three and three, five and two, two and five. I'm not going to sprinkle. I'm just going to hope for a regular cover ATS wise and be happy with my four and a half. So I'm in. Clamps at four and a half. Let's get it going. Uh, Nick Nasty over in the whoa, what happened there? Nick Nasty says over yells. I don't know. I actually want to take over uh, under. I want to do San Diego State and the under. Just took it four and a half. Me and you both, BJ. I think they would outright more experienced team. And listen, they went outright super. I'm just happy we're covering four and a half. That's where I'm at right now. Better rebounding. They got Clark back too. Not only listen, Baylor. A couple weeks ago, you're thinking, wow, this is like a nice little trendy team, right? People are talking about them. I know when I do uh, Winter Circle with Ross and Jesse, there was a lot of talk about Baylor. I think they're at the time where a 14 to 1 uh, shot. And like, oh, yeah, you know, they whether they just beat in Houston or no, maybe a close loss to Houston. Who did they beat that? One, two, three. I'm trying to find like a good winning streak. Maybe they won five or six. And then they lost BYU, a close one overtime, Houston, TCU, KU, Texas. You know, it was thought of, oh, yeah, because you look at their losses, OT lost TCU, OT lost at K-State, you know, eight-point loss at Duke on a neutral, Michigan State lost on a neutral, Houston lost in overtime. I mean, you got overtime losses, you got four-point losses, you got close games. And then Clemson just I don't say I don't say they're overachieving as much as NC State has. But just the whole ACC. I'm I'm gonna I'll 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 take my I'll take my shot here with with Clemson with you. Michael B is in the house. Welcome. When's Otani getting suspended? Ninja's coming in. You double OT to get over one forty seven on ducks. Come on. Never in doubt, baby. Never in doubt. Never in doubt. I uh, think Purdue goes over. I think Purdue goes over. Yes. Yeah. Ninja. So easy game. I don't even know why gambling, <laughs> stealing. It's like taking candy from a baby, as they say. <laughs> Double OT. Michael B says pretty good day. North Carolina Ducks first half. Iowa State. A few others. UFC pick. I gave out cash. Talbot crushed the dude. That is a nice Saturday night. Dana says, Tennessee just opened two versus Creighton. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right. Here we go. See these lines start coming up pretty soon. So we're on to the Sweet 16. We got Tenny. Creighton. Gonzaga. NC State. The 11 seed. Who else have we got coming around here? Dude, who blacks play? I don't even know who they even played. Well, Iowa State's in, right? Iowa State. North Carolina. Who are they going to play? They get the Bama Grand Canyon winner. Clemson should advance. We like that. Arizona taking care of business. Creighton. 
Grand Canyon is live, in my humble opinion. I think, and I had Charleston in nine and a half the other day. You're playing a team with a terrible defense. And how about this line? I mean, they were laying nine and a half to Charleston. You can make fun of Charleston. You don't think they're a... Um, a good program or whatever. This line is less. I mean, does that make sense? Uh, CAA, I think, is a little better than a whack. No? I'm... What's up with that line? I mean, is the Grand Canyon outright with this line? Like we said, they take the Ducks one line, 220 at the half, and they go double OT and lose by 15. That's, that, it's rough. It's a rough one. Colorado, New Mexico, 102-100. Either way, they don't play defense at the rim. The size of the beach will call on. Colorado is not playing. Is this for women's basketball? What game are we talking about here? Are we talking Colorado Marquette? Or are you talking Colorado beating Florida yesterday, Ninja? Michael B., every favorite in the tournament. Cash it up. Probably people want to be buying new cars. Dog it up tomorrow, huh? Dog it up after all the faves today? Colorado versus Marquette go over. Yes. Yes. Take Colorado plus four. I've been riding this team. Marquette's got the point guard back, but I think Colorado's enough. I, I initially like Colorado on three and a half, but I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go Marquette here. I'm gonna go Marquette. Again, this is just the Pac twelve to me. All right, Arizona, we know Arizona's really good. I'm not sold on I was I was against Oregon the last two games. I you know, I no thank you to Oregon. I did have Colorado. Um, against Florida. Or excuse me, Boise opening round. Did not play them against Florida. Did not play them against Florida. Uh, then it says Iowa State versus Illinois two and a half. I gotta see. I, I gotta get. I gotta get to these lines. That'll be on tomorrow's show. Get to these lines. So first look at this puppy. I would say Iowa State. I will take Iowa State. Two and a half. First, first inkling. Give me some uh, some Iowa State here. Got a defensive team. I know Illinois. I mean, they've it they looked good. I mean, I'm not going to say that or not say they haven't looked good. You know, give me some points. Sure. I will take the points. Any of the other games coming up here? Just a crane in the uh, Tennessee here. What was a crane opener? Tennessee tubers crane. Yeah. Carl's in the house. Carl, good to see you. Hope all's well. Illinois is on a run. They sure are. They sure are. I want to see where that line goes. So the opener says two. I'm going to have to do my little printouts and write down the opener and see where they move. Obviously, out of the gate, I'm going to lean to dogs, but got to do a little work before I decide. Listed in the house. How are you? Just for photo, who's your final four? No one we know now. All right, so since I don't have Auburn left in the in the bracket, uh, I'll shuffle UConn down there to go to the Final Four with Arizona that I already have there. I already have Houston. And um, I don't know. I'm going to stick with Creighton. I got Creighton in the Final Four. So Creighton, Houston, the only thing I do, Auburn's gone, so I'll put in UConn. Nothing's changed. Give me Arizona to win it all still. 
Michael B. The only fave I really like is San Diego State. It might be a football, but I kind of like A&M catching the 10. Well, if you came in earlier, I gave, I gave our Marcos minute for our guy, Marcos. And I said I like the uh, 10 there. Carl says, I got Oakland all the way. He's going to Grizzles. He likes Oakland. They have a shot to go home, I guess. <laughs> They're, they're going all the way. I, You know, the Oakland team, great win. It's going to be tough to follow that up. Tough to follow that up. You almost got there against another Cinderella. I mean, we had two double-digit seeds playing today. Michael B. Oh, no, I could score, but they played no defense. Exactly. Who have they beaten? Who have they really beaten? Let's see who's Illinois really beaten. We'll pull it up. So Duquesne and Warhead, they've covered. Covered against Wisconsin. Covered against Nebraska. Covered against, uh, did not cover against Ohio State. Win by three, by f- favored by five. Beat Iowa. Lost to Purdue, 77-71. Lost to Penn State, 90-89 on the road. Uh, lost to Michigan State on the road, 88-80. Lost to Northwestern on the road in overtime, 96-91. Maryland lost at home is ugly, 76-67. No excuse for that. You lose at Purdue, 83-78. Where's the big win? You lost at Tennessee, 86-79. You beat Florida Atlantic at MSG. I had Florida Atlantic that game. You beat them by nine. That would be their marquee win. Because they lost against Marquette, 71-64. So, lost Purdue, lost Purdue, lost Tennessee, lost Marquette. So, we're going to roll in a Iowa State squad with wins over Houston, Baylor, uh, any other kind of good teams here? I mean, I guess, could you say Kansas was good in the middle of the year? I mean, they beat Houston twice, by the way. Um, lost to A&M on a neutral. It's Iowa State for me, too. Give me Iowa State. Oregon under 148 game can suck. Whoa, 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 Dale, settle down. Settle down. That is a brutal loss for underbackers. Double OT. I have a four-leg parlay for tomorrow. What do you think about this? UConn over on the points. Yes. Purdue on the over points. Sure. Cleveland State, Moneyline, and Marquette. I like them all. You're going undefeated. I mean, hello. Cleveland State, Purdue. Connecticut over. I said I like Marquette. I'm with you, Carl. Jeez, Oakland had a chance to win that. Big Phil was just a wrecking ball against the interside defense. That will fade NC State in a big way, whoever they play. Yeah, um, who are you going to get there? Are you going to get Marquette or Colorado? I mean, how crazy that you could have a Colorado-NC State Sweet 16. Although, I mean, right? Have we've seen playing game guys get there. That's a big ask, though, now. You know, Marquette's a tough team. Michael Lee says, I'm thinking Iowa State versus Illinois. Yep. I agree. Michael B says, Kansas is a lot better when they have color. I mean, take the best player off most teams, and what do you get? I agree. I mean, they hung for the first half. I thought I had a shot. The almighty one's coming in. Here's a guy who knows a thing or two. Iowa State over Illinois. Yep. Big 12 better than Big 10. Mikey B right on the money. Absolutely. Iowa State is the play here. And we got Mike F. coming in. Had a decent day telling you. Thank you, sir. You are welcome, Mike F. Good to see you. Good to see you, Mike. Used to be on the PMP. You finally got over to win free picks in the, uh, on the Twitter world. Super. Super, super. All right. Let's uh, do a recap. And then, you know what? I got to see these lines as they start coming up. We got Cleveland State. Money line. They're not minus 110 points, new people. That's a money line play. Purdue minus 11 and a half. 
Connecticut over to 136. And we added Fairfield during the show, and I edited it out to the Twitter world, X, as it's known now. Fairfield over the 153. Michael B is coming in, almighty one. Let's get it. We need the almighty one to come in with a box special. When box boards come in, just back up the Brinks trucks and go the opposite way. Right, we got our third like. Brio's coming in on the like button. Mike Downey, Dennis O'Brien. Appreciate you, Facebookers. Thank you. But that is it for a Saturday night. I'm out of here. Good luck, and I'll see you at noon tomorrow. Bye-bye.